What up? Tyler here, Tarver Academy. If you get a chance, please subscribe real quick. So today I want to teach you about how to put a formula into slope intercept form when it's not in that form, okay? So I'm gonna pause you, I can't pause it. Just kidding, I can't pause it. If you could go ahead and pause it, try something, I don't care if it's right, wrong, whatever, and then we'll work it together. So ready? Pause. And now you've unpaused. Oh wow, that was a great effort. Let's see if you got it right. Okay, so it says what is 6x minus 2y minus 4 equals 0 in slope intercept form? Now, so the first thing you need to know is what is slope intercept form? Slope intercept is y equals mx plus b. Okay, in this slope intercept form, this m is our slope, this b is our y intercept, and then x and y are any coordinate that is on this line. This formula represents a line on a graph. So you've got your, your coordinate planes. Anywhere a line is, you can put it in slope intercept form and that represents that line. So you could use the formula to plot the line or use the line to find the formula, okay? So it's like just pretty much like a label to what the line is. So it's like a definition for it in mathematical terms. So our goal here is to take this little guy right here and we wanna put it in this form right here. Okay, now the easiest way to do it, um, there are ways you can like work the equation, you can put like find coordinates and all that. The easiest way, if they've already given you all of it, is to pretty much just rearrange the question you have using math to get the y by itself and then just making sure you arrange it like this. So I'm gonna rewrite the equation um, right here. So we've got 6x minus 2y minus 4 equals 0. So now in this equation right here, y is by itself. So I want to get the y by itself in this equation. So pretty much I'm moving everything to the other side of that equal sign. So I want to get everything over there. So I'm going to start with the easiest stuff. I'm going to get the 4 over there. Remember, to go across an equal sign, you've got to do the opposite. And so I'll, instead of minusing 4, I want to add 4 to both sides. That's going to cancel that out. So now it's 6x minus 2y equals positive 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. Keep everything kind of in order. The, a lot of times when students have problems on stuff like this, um, problems within the problem, <laughs> inception, um, they'll, it'll be just because they didn't carry stuff down correctly. So make sure you just bring everything. You bring all your signs down. You bring everything down. That way you don't leave something out. Because you're leaving one thing out, it's going to mess up your problem. All right, now, we still got to get y by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the stuff that's like right next to it last, so I need to get rid of that 6x. So with a positive 6x, I can just subtract 6x from both sides. That's 6x minus 6x, it's gone. Now, bringing it down, don't forget your negative. A lot of people will forget that negative, it'll mess them up. Bring down your equal sign. Now, I could just do like 4 minus 6x, and they, they don't combine because that one has a variable with it. Um, and a lot of people just be like, okay, I just tag it onto the end. But I'm going to go ahead and do myself a favor and put it in the front. So I'm just going to push that little guy right up in there. So it'll be negative 6x. And that's a positive 4, so it's plus 4. Okay? Let me make sure you're still in the frame. You guys take a breather to make sure we're still in the frame. Oh, man. We got miles to go down here. We're good to go. I almost tripped and fell into the jar race board. Okay. So last step. I need to get rid of the negative 2. All right, and the first thing a lot of students want to do is they just want to be like, okay, well, it's minus 2, so I'll just add 2 over there. And it's negative 6x plus 6 because I just added 2. If you did that, um, it's the wrong operation, okay? It's okay, you didn't tell anybody, so nobody knows. You're looking at what's happening between the negative 2 and the y. It's not y minus 2, which would mean you would add 2 to the other side. It's negative 2 times y. You're multiplying them. And to go across the equal sign, you have to do the opposite. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm gonna have to divide negative two. And here's another thing people always, a lot of times will mess up. When I divide it, I gotta divide everything by negative two. So if I do it to this side, I have to do every single monomial over here. So that's a monomial, it's separated by that plus sign, that's another monomial. So I'm gonna have to do it to both of those. So I'm gonna have to apply it there, and there, and there. Now, I do it here and it gets rid of it, because negative two divided by negative two is one, and then one times y is just y. So we've got y equals, and then I do negative six divided by negative two, which is positive three. X is still x. 
And then we do positive four divided by negative two, which is negative two. And ladies and gentlemen, you have just placed that equation in slope intercept form. What are you gonna do with all of your like awards and like uh, all the congratulatories? What you're gonna do is you're gonna put them in your pocket. This doesn't have a pocket there. Put it behind your little pocket if you're carrying a pocket shirt, pocket tee. And uh, you can take that to the bank. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys tomorrow or the next day. Why do I do this? It's like I did the fierce thing like as a joke and now it's stuck. Now it actually is like the thing I do. I'm done. Okay. Peace.